home stuff to do. <gasps> it's not going to be a lot of work. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. In. Will you stop looking? We you stop miserable. looking miserable? Because people keep miserable doing things. Ding, ding, ding dong ding. Oh, are you on the tannoy? <laughs> Kevin, you're fired. <laughs> In case you're else, you're not fired. Don't you dare do that to me. <laughs> Don't to people because we're going. <laughs> so I got to the front of the shop, pulled me pants down, took a massive shit right in the entranceway. <laughs> Hello, you gorgeous lot. How's everyone today? I'm great. Mind me do bits. Just dry me dog weed on it. Yep, that's my life. I've just got ready and I am going to turn the sound off on this TV and Ryan's took the dogs out and um, the window cleaner's been. I am um, just doing some work and present has arrived and I ordered my, and I told you I ordered me Christmas present from Ryan because I like to just order me one. I, I sent Ryan a bit of a list of some things that, I, that as long as he knows exactly what it is, that he can just get that one product. I'm not a massive fan of when people buy me I, I appreciate anyone buying us anything at any moment of time. However, I, I really just, it's more for the other person. I don't want them to waste the money on something that I don't really need. Do you know what I mean? So I'd far rather me tell someone, oh, I, I quite like this or, you know, that would be great. And then they would get me that product, if that makes sense. I promise it's 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 to the benefit of the person getting me the gift, not me myself. Anyway, there was a certain pair of, pair of wellies that I wanted and um, for walking the dog and I managed to get them so it's like a gift where it's from Ryan to me but it's really I chose the gift. Uh -huh. I'm sure other people are like that out there. Comment if you are. I'm sure you are. So I've got those. However, I'm thinking I probably am not going to open the, the, the hair look. But I'm thinking to myself, so it's like something that I've got to open on Christmas Day. I might just tell Ryan to wrap them up and I won't actually even look at them until Christmas. I've been wanting to open them because of course like anyone as soon as I get something I'm like, oh, but, it, but it is technically a Christmas present so I'll probably not. I'll wait until Christmas Day. Even though I know what it is. Because then I'll have the excitement of actually wanting to see them. I will get Ryan to check over them first just in case they sent us the wrong colour. However, they probably haven't, but you know, that's the type of thing that you'd wake up on Christmas morning and you would open them and they'd be sent the wrong colour. It's a typical that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna make, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to go and do some work, to be honest. Um, and then we can spend the afternoon, you know, not working. Hello. Oh! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're just eating. Let me do a tuna sandwich and uh, mm -hmm. show them it. Because there's evidence that I do actually make some food. You made me a tuna sandwich. Delicious. Yes. We've got two cuddled up dogs here. And none of them in a bed. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Like I said earlier, we're just finishing up some work. Yeah. Um, it's the kind of thing where we're like, oh, we'll just be doing it for an hour. And six hours later, we're still doing it. Yeah. But it's necessary. Yeah. And um, For business growth. For business growth to keep the roof over our head. Yeah. But we've also um, got to go to the range after, um, I feel like all we do is live in this house and then to the range <laughs> and then back home again. Because we need to get a radiator key because some people have been mentioning it's the right advice to um, bleed the radiators and we need Very to... Very dark. I got this way. Good letters. We need to bleed the radiators so yeah. we're going to do that tonight and then we've got a few more things to do. We're gonna... Why are you leaving like that? We're going to put that thing on the wall, aren't we? Yes, um, yes. I'm going to do some uh, work. Hopefully you'll be finished. Yeah. Uh, in the next half an hour, mm -hmm. fingers crossed. I think so. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich. Hello, and it is now 20 past seven, right? Um, at night, and we have just finished the work that we thought we would finish about half three, four o'clock max. Um, the shop that we want to go to um, shuts in 40 minutes, takes 10 minutes to get there, so we'll have half an hour there. And we'll also have the last 15 minutes of them telling us to get out of the shop, so it'll have to be extra quick. Um, I still want to do some stuff, like home stuff tonight, but I'm glad that we've got the work done. Um, basically, it's just our business is about to expand, not majorly or anything, but um, it's 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 fab news. Oh, I think my work's exported. I'll do that one in a second, I'm pleased. 
Um, but nevertheless, uh, we are now going to head off and when we get back we're going to send everything off because like anything, you think an email takes just two seconds but it, it, oh my god, we've got a Skype call tonight and I've totally, I've, the pennies just dropped and that's at nine o'clock, right, so we won't be doing home stuff. But uh, we can't complain because our business is doing well. That's it. Period. But let's go get some wool because Aiden needs to finish his one that he started about two weeks ago and a really okay. Bonnie, how have you ended up there? Because when we gave you your Kong, you were certainly there in the front of the tree and you have managed to travel in your bed all the way over to the kitchen door. Are you enjoying that? Bonnie, have you got anything to say for yourself? Apart from, let me have me Kong. Raven's just pleasantly, peacefully enjoying his Kong. You can't see his head. And I'm just doing some washing before our Skype call. Bonnie, I'm gonna drag you back, come on. Yeah, stay there, Missy. Hello, so it is now quarter to midnight, right? We have just um, finished our um, first ever Skype call with, with one of our parents, um, Patrick and his partner, Keith, right? And it, are you coming? Yes, I'm just putting the dryer on. You're just putting the dryer on. Um, we had some food once we come back. And we just had a Skype call and it was an absolute blast, right? Um, within like the first couple of seconds, they already made us laugh. The camera hadn't even turned on and um, Keith had already made us laugh. So it was an absolute pleasure to get to know them um, through Skype. Like it's, it's um, so Patrick's one of our parents and um, so he set up, um, he messaged us after watching um, one of our most recent live streams. Basically if you're a patron on, from our Patreon page that um, gets a um, Skype call with us, um, then if you haven't got a date booked in, please, 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 please drop us a message to get a date in um, with, with us. That sounds like we're like, oh, get a date with in, in, uh, in with us, we're so busy. It's only because literally where the hell has 2020 gone where the hell has december gone and we'll blink and all of a sudden like december's gone january's gone february's gone and then it'll be 2030 before we really know it because although 2020 has been an awful year I, I really feel as though um it's gone a lot faster than we think really so anyways um we spoke about like literally on most Skype calls with, with whether it's with our friend um steph or martin steven or lane or whoever yeah um Legit, we sometimes just talk about utter rubbish, yeah, um, in the sense of like, you know, what you and like your friends do. So we spoke about um, theme parks and we spoke about um, religion and politics and, um, and the, the Ducey shouldn't talk about politics, but we we had similar politics, so, so it was totally fine. And what else did we speak about? Um, birds. Birds. Um, we spoke about, um, oh, uh, we spoke about something else, didn't we? Something that I can't put on YouTube. So yeah, basically it was it was an absolute hoot. It was I really really enjoyed that. However, it is now probably just after this rant. Um, it is now. It come in. Yes. Yeah. Um. However, it is now. Um, it's time to go to bed. We're going to watch your home now. Yes. Go so here yeah, we are. But you're going to make a cup of tea. I'm going to make. Yeah. I'm not going to have one, but I'll make you a cup of tea. For me. Thank you. So you're, you're, you're doing that. You're um, going to make us a cup of tea. Yeah. Um. But how did you did you enjoy it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I flew over to be honest. It flew over because the conversation was flowing. It was lovely. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm actually tired. Um, right, I think we should... Are we calling an end to this vlog or do you want to talk? We'll see. It's been a bit short, hasn't it, guys? Okay. And that's because oh, we've just been doing work. We're not calling an end to it yet. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you in the next clip, whatever the next that may be. But we don't know what it is yet. Right. <laughs> Thought of something to tell you. What is it? Me current story at um, the range when we went earlier on. What I said to the till, at the till, to the lady. God, you clawed for, clawed for content, aren't you? Today we have, <laughs> we've, we've been very busy, okay? And I feel as though this vlog, when I edit it, it'll be super short, right? Bonnie! <laughs> okay, let's just do 21 minutes of Bonnie. 20 minutes of Bonnie. Behave, it's late and she's tired. Bonnie boos. Behave. Before the Harris speaks here, not on our door. Um, she gets chatted. I know, you're yeah, not like a queen. <laughs> Except her son isn't a secret Pete. I can't say that word. Um, She's what, a... We, we all know what Prince Andrew is and what the, the royal family are denying. Yeah? Nice bomb, the bomb. 
Anyhow, right, when we were at the range, okay, to get in um, the, one bottle of wool to finish off his d You have to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to finish off someone's Christmas present, right? Um, <laughs> basically, um, we were looking around and we also needed to get ra a radiator key to bleed, bleed the radiators. Um, that is the thing in America, isn't it? People bleed radiators. Well, yeah. America, just in case that, like, we get loads of comments, what the hell, why do you bleed the radiator? Um, and so we, so we basically just let gas or water or something out the radio. Yeah, We're just, gonna watch a video it. tomorrow, okay? It's just the air, it's got a trapped air. Right, okay, it's got wind, okay? Wind. So anyways, you need a special key to loosen up a radiator, okay? So um, anyways, we've got another tools for ages and we can't find ones. And there's a member of staff um, there, middle-aged man, I right? And I said, right? I just thought that you should ask first. Yeah, that's fine, so I did. I went to the man and said, excuse me, do you, do you have any radiator keys? You need to understand, for anyone else in the US, okay, the range is a giant store where you can get anything and everything, okay? Um, and it's budget friendly. Yeah, okay? uh, it's, the thing is, right, uh, this is what, he, he said, the reason why I knew that he was full of shit is because he farted, he quickly went, no. no. And as soon as somebody. It was did literally that, about you, two metres away from and where. Was, and if you've been in there before, right, the amount of like hardware and stuff, there's loads. I thought there's goddamn a radiator yeah. key in this house. Yeah. In this like in, the, in, in the this shop. shop. Like there must be. Yeah. So I got I he thought said no. screw this. So I googled it. So I got to the front of the shop, pulled my pants down and took a massive shit right in the entranceway. What? <laughs> I said that's what I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, obviously I didn't do that. So, <laughs> where the hell? Ah, where the hell? How did that come from? I went on my phone and I googled radiator key, the range. First thing that popped up <laughs> was the range. Radiator key, the range. <laughs> so anyway, and I saw We're the, in the in the DIY I aisle. I saw the little packet that it came with, and I'd been in there anyway because I needed some screws. <laughs> We're in the aisle. I'm very straight down by screws. Um, <laughs> DIY. <laughs> anyway, I'm a I builder. Like, there's all of the stuff. So I hadn't looked properly, and Ryan had asked before I had a good proper look. So I literally went over it. First thing I pulled straight away was the radiator. You should have gone over. You should actually. Well, no, I was this far I from going over going to the to actually, okay. I thought you were going to like, oh, just. But I but thought you, you weren't going to be. Yeah, but you know what I'm like? I'd have been like, just to let just you, know. Let you know. You, you do have them, bitch. You do have them, bitch. You do have them, bitch. Like that, right? So, uh, because I, I didn't you, do I that, I knew you would have said. You I had, yeah, but I had to say something, didn't I? So instead, right, when we're at the tail with this lovely young lady, right, um, uh, she was like, "Do you want them?" Um, she said, she, "Because we bought a laundry basket, because Ed needed another laundry basket for laundry that doesn't get done it's anyways." Not a laundry basket. Well, it, it, it's, it's a laundry basket. It's, you know it's a laundry called? basket that you use for your iron. Do you know what it was called? What hipster laundry basket? Because it goes on your hip. No, because because it's not hipster. That makes all the sense. Yes, that it was the <laughs> hipster people because we're going. I thought everyone in Shoreditch has one of these. <laughs> from the range. One of these hip arrow people from Shoreditch, they go to other places. They go to the range. They go to John Lewis. And they probably can't afford the rent, so they do go to the range. Possibly. Right, Shoreditch, Shoreditch is, is a very expensive gorgeous. place. When are you finish the story? Oh, he's gorgeous. Right. So we got to the counter. We got the tail, right? And the this lovely, lovely young girl said, Oh, you won't need a bag because we can just pack your stuff into the laundry basket. And, the and then the laundry basket. Yeah, so the end was like, Oh, that's such a good idea. I already was going to do that anyway. It was okay? all it is is to the transport. Pe the penny hadn't dropped with it. All it is is to transport the laundry from the washer machine upstairs to the room where the laundry is. So then now I can iron it. It's not like a main laundry basket. Yes. Anyway, so in, so Ryan can't knock it being able to keep his So I waited until she scanned it through so it went. Beep. Yeah, and, Beep. I, and I said, "Ee, we we almost didn't get that." Yeah, and she went, "Oh," and then I said, "Oh, um, there was the, the a gen I asked the gentleman if uh, you, if you sold um radiator keys, and um he, he said that you didn't, and we thought, well, you surely you did, and we, well, we googled it, and it was the first result, and we found it within seconds, and she then went, was he young or old, and I said old, oh, so and, and, then and she went, went, she went, she went ah. okay, ding dong ding. Oh, you're on the tannoy. <laughs> Kevin, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Turn in your range discount card. For so unfortunately, he lost his job um, and we got into an argument outside the shop with them. No, no, I'm no, no we didn't. We just went He on. hasn't lost his job. <laughs> and that can't go in. <laughs> um, because of what we did... Um, 
in the range. No, that never happened, right? Um, she then she then said, "Oh well, let him know." Uh, yeah, it was just a typical person, and you, you it was just a lazy ass. He was a lazy ass. He was literally right two meters away from them. He didn't even look anyone, I and mean, no one knows if you sell. Well, Maureen acted it for you. Ryan, I'll be you. You be Keith. So I've got my mask on, yeah, and I say, "Excuse me, um, excuse me, kind gentleman, right?" Because I'm very polite. Excuse me, kind gentleman. Um, I was obviously two meters away from him. Oh, shit, I'm gonna fall into the tree. Excuse me, kind gentleman, yeah. who works at the range. Um, do you um, store any radiator keys in this fine establishment? No. And at that point, we knew that he was lying, and that's why he needed and to be fired. Don't you know, you know, right? Round of applause, right, for that scene. Don't ever listen to people, right? Bullshit. What are you going to talk about that scene? That acting scene? That was fantastic acting. That, and and the Golden Globe goes to to Claire Danes and Homeland. To Claire Danes and Homeland because it's amazing. Claire Danes, well done. Claire, for I, know, I know you watch Claire, and I just want to say, <laughs> it, right. I know you're a big fan. I know, I know you're a big fan. <laughs> no, it was not. No, it was not. I just, I was just not talking. I've just had a bleep half of that because that was not okay. Um, Claire. I just want to say that I think that your portrayal of this bipolar character is the most spectacular thing I've seen in a while, to be honest. <laughs> We're only on season two, episode one. Now episode two. Yeah. Right. Um, anyway. However, we, are, we have obviously gone balmy because it is now um, <laughs> quarter to two in the morning and um, we have to get up early it's tomorrow because we have a lot of home stuff to do. <gasps> it's not going to be a lot of work. <laughs> It's not going to be a lot of... Um, see, we do get on. I don't bully him and I don't... Uh, what's the word? I'm not mean to Aiden. Blah, oh, blah, guys, blah, blah. times, right? Ryan's Aiden and he goes, in. Will you stop looking? We stop miserable. looking miserable because people keep blaming me. Because people keep telling us that I'm a nasty person and I say, well... Because you look miserable and we just talk about Aiden's rest and face. People obviously know the truth. Yeah. People obviously watch five minutes of a vlog. Yeah, that's what they do. They watch five minutes of our li lives and come to the conclusion that they know Guys, us better than the you. The actual truth is that, that I am pretty goddamn miserable. I have to use a lot of energy to come across reasonably, reasonably decent 90% of the time. But don't. But, but, full that's miserable. not because of me, though, is no, it? No, that's not because of you. You're just I'm a miserable person. Just fully miserable. Rest of the <laughs> <shits>. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, because Aiden hasn't enjoyed being No, I don't want to be like that, because when you when I meet miserable people in the street, I think, oh, that person's a b**** to be You know, miserable. we once met a girl, very quickly, because this is a nine minute rant now, and I've been entertaining. Yeah. There's a girl at the, at, um, at the cafe um, that we used to see when we worked there, and, um, do you know... She... Whoa. No, I'm not talking about sadness. <laughs> I'm not talking about the, 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 there, was, there was a customer that <laughs> legit was sadness. <laughs> right? She was lovely, very polite. She was really nice, actually. Right? So but she was. Out, yeah, if you've ever seen Inside Out, here's a little clip of sadness that I found on the internet. I'm sadness. Remember the funny movie where the dog dies? It starts feeling droopy. Oh. Crying helps me slow down and obsess over the weight of life's problems. Oh! Which way? Right, I remember watching Inside Out for the first time and being going, let's go from the cafe. <laughs> she ate all it does a chai latte or a large cappuccino with chocolate on top. No green tea it was never a chai latte. No, it wasn't. It was never a green tea. It was a green tea. Oh, it was a green tea, yeah, it was. If she was having a good tea, it was a green tea. If she was yeah. having a bad day, it was a cappuccino. Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly right. If she watches our vlog, say yeah. No, she doesn't. <laughs> we call you sadness from Inside Out actually, behind your she back. She actually once came into the cafe and she was like, she was from Scotland. She was really intelligent. She worked at the university, yeah. um, and she was lovely. And she came, and she was like, you know, she was like, you know, when posh people have the posh Scottish accent, the, the, the posh Scottish, Scottish, posh Scottish. You know what I mean? She, I can't. Posh. Posh. <laughs> <laughs> she came in and went, I can't do it. I'm going to be now. I'm going to sound like some crazy Scottish person. Scottish. Right? 
I was watching Veer yesterday. <laughs> what was that? And the and the Oscar nominated <laughs> Silglows to Claire Danes. I was watching Veer yesterday. It's Scottish. I was watching Vera yesterday. And who popped up? And who? <laughs> and who popped up? Who knows how to? I'm, a, I'm not an actor. <laughs> she was talking about you on TV, wasn't she? She was talking about us on TV. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Then I served her a coffee because even though I'd been on the telly, I was still a barista. Yeah. Um, we were mentioning her sadness. Um, no, I was talking about the girl that... Oh, Aiden's mm-hmm. telling us that I can't talk about this other girl. No. She's not going to watch the vlogs. No, I mean, if she does, she might not. But if she did, it would be not better. Oh, here we go again. Ryan's the mean no, one. Oh, she was lovely. You you just impersonated Polish girl? Yeah, Sadness? she doesn't give a shit about me. She's got so She much. don't give a shit about me. She, I think she had enough self-assurance and self-confidence to not care what I think. She, she was one go, of the few Durham University students she would go, that was pleasant. Ryan? How's Ryan? How's Ryan? And not posh. There was a few, and stuck up. There was a few really nice ones. I'll go on the record and say there that. There was a few nice ones. Um, some of them are right. I'm not going to lie, like. Some of them are. Some of them are. But you get that everywhere. Yeah, you do. Um, Right, we've got to go to bed. Because it's now 3 o'clock in the morning after this rant. Um, this rant was is actually one and a half hours long. It is. Very long. Right, if you've enjoyed this... But we've sped it up and we've cut it all out, so... If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel or haven't already, click that subscribe button. And click the notification bell so you're notified. Don't you <laughs> dare do that to me. Don't you dare do that to me. <laughs> I absolutely was. Why are we giddy? I don't know. We need to go to sleep. That's yeah, come why. on. Right, Let's right. f- Bye. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming home to me.